Hey friends, welcome to Whiskey and Wit. Today we are doing a ton of Dollar Tree patriotic DIYs just in time for summer and Memorial Day, 4th of July. So let's get started. What I love about all of these projects is that they're all in the same color palette, so you could use them interchangeably in different vignettes throughout your house. That also means you could use them on tiered trays. There's just a lot of different options, and so I wanted to show you a bunch of ideas that you could use either individually or all together to create a little patriotic vignette. So up first, let's start with these little wood signs. These are super easy to make and they are with an item that you may have overlooked before. These are the golf games and you can find them in the kids aisle. I had two of these from a previous project that I didn't use. So I took them and I painted one with the Ocean by Waverly, which is this pretty blue. This is the blue that I do all my patriotic stuff in. So I had this paint left over from last year, but you can also get Waverly chalk paint with Walmart grocery pickup fun fact then I also did crimson for the second sign and that's the red then I just cut out two different decals on my Cricut I will link the information down below on where you can find those so this one land of the free because of the brave super easy just pop that on there and then I also made some changes to this free sweet land of liberty so it fit horizontally like I wanted it to and that's it. They're so easy. You could do these honestly for any time of the year. You could also paint on them. So if you don't have a Cricut, you could do that. You could use the Dollar Tree little decals. They've got a ton of those. They do have a ton of different options that you can stick on a variety of things. Up next are these clothespin stars. So you probably have a few of these hanging out in your laundry room and you're gonna need five clothespins per star. So step one is to dismantle them, take your little spring out of the center, and then hot glue them as if you were pinching them open. Once those are all glued like that, then you're gonna lay them out in a star, kind of aligning all of the tips. And then I just went through and added some hot glue on each of the tips. I held them for probably 10 to 15 seconds each, and this held up pretty well. I liked it because you kind of got that seamless look. If you have like a Gorilla Glue or an E6000, you can go ahead and use that, but this is just what I had on hand and it worked. And that is how simple and easy those are. These are great because you can paint them a variety of colors. I would recommend painting the clothespins before you glue them together. You could one, use them individually as stars or stack them to give yourself a really cute firework motif. Up next is this Freedom Candle, sort of Ray Dunn inspired. I've made these before and they're so easy. One of these $1 Dollar Tree candles, they come in a variety of different colors. I would love to get a blue one if they have them and put some stars on it, but I had a red one left over from Christmas time, so I just added the word freedom. You can customize them in any way. I use the font Amatic. I will put that information down below. I just have that loaded onto my Cricut Design Space, and it's a little bit thicker than the traditional Ray Dunn, and I find it's easier to cut out. Honestly, as easy as it is, just schlep on a decal and it looks so festive. Up next are these stars to add a little bit of color to whatever you're displaying. These started out as these hangers. Now, there may not be something that's exactly this at the Dollar Tree this year, but every year they have some sort of hanging star or something. And so I go through, pull them apart, get rid of all the cheap hot glue on the back, and then I had six stars. So first step, I just took some hot glue and glued together the two glitter sides so they kind of stayed in the center. And then I just took some white acrylic paint and painted all of the sides. For the striped one, I just went through with some painter's tape. You could use washi tape, whatever you have. And I painted off the horizontal stripes for my red and white. And then for my other one, I painted it blue with that same Waverly blue chalk paint. But then I just went ahead and added some of these embellishments that I had on hand from Michaels. I was gonna try to use them as a stamp. And in my brain, it started 
out as a great idea and then when I started doing it, it did not work out. So I ended up just sticking these on there and I was gonna go for the natural look, but then I decided I wanted them white instead. So I went through and painted them. You could use Dollar Tree stickers, you could use a paint pen, a lot of different things, but these stack super well with the other stars, with the signs, you can kind of build it up as you go. And then I also added two little Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks just with some hot glue to the bottom. It helps them free stand. Here is a great item for filler when you've got an area where you don't want a ton of color, but you want it to look like it all goes together. So this started with some Dollar Tree popsicle sticks. These are the wider ones, but you could definitely use any of the ones that you have. You could also make a bigger version of this with some paint sticks. So really just kind of use what you have on hand. I used the hot glue to make my star and then I started to wrap it. So I took some Dollar Tree jute twine, added some glue to the back so it would hold the starting point. I wrapped it around, did some glue um, throughout, not every wrap around, but I did want to make sure that it stuck because I didn't do that the first time and everything kind of slid off. So maybe two or three times with the glue and then you're going to want to go through and wrap all of your points of your star like this. So then that way everything's covered and then your middle is just going to be open. So once those are all complete, then I just took the jute twine and wrapped it around in a variety of patterns until the center was covered. And then I made sure that I put some hot glue so everything stayed in place, but I made sure all the glue was on the back so you wouldn't see it. I love this one. This is a DIY farmhouse bead set and they're very Etsy inspired because I've been seeing a lot of those with the little embellishments on the end and I wanted to figure out how to make some of these for cheap. So these start with the Dollar Tree wood beads and I lucked out because the packs that I had had a good amount of blue and red already in them. So I went through and sorted my packs so then that way I knew what was what, how many sizes I had and how many colors. And once I sorted out all of the larger beads, I pulled out the red and blue ones. And it's kind of like a blueberry color. So these really fit the motif I was going for. And then I just grabbed enough to fill out the amount of beads that I had in a lighter color. So here I used orange and pink just so then the white would cover it better. I stuck those on a toothpick, gave them probably three coats of paint just with a little paintbrush and let those dry. Then to make my flag, it is just three of the tumbling tower blocks hot glued together. Went through with some white acrylic paint because I am out of Waverly chalk paint and it is so sad, but I am making it work. So went through and painted the middle block white. And when I made my second one, I painted these before I glued them together. So this was slightly a rookie mistake, but I ended up making it work. Then I grabbed that crimson again and went through and painted the top and bottom brick. So then that way I had all of my stripes. Once the stripes were dry, then I went through and just hand painted on the star area with some of that blue ocean Waverly chalk paint and I touched up any of the other areas and then I went through and just added some white dots for the stars in a staggering pattern. I was not trying to get legit and like make small stars like that. I'm not that artsy. If you are, definitely go ahead and do that. Then I ran outside, grabbed the drill and just drilled a hole directly down through the center of it. Finn was sleeping so it wasn't something I could do in the house and get footage of. But then I came back in, I added some tape to the end of my jute twine so I could easily get it through that hole that I had just drilled. And I started by stringing the flag onto the jute twine first. Once that's on there, give yourself a couple knots underneath so it's not gonna fall off your jute twine. And then it was time to string the beads. I did the same thing here, gave myself a kind of faux needle and I added a couple small beads in between the red, white, and blue that were just a natural color from Michaels. I will link the pack I have down below. I just like that look. You definitely don't have to do that. You can leave this all Dollar Tree. 
And then to finish off the look, I made a patriotic tassel. So I started by making just a general tassel with some jute twine. Then I added some different ribbons, the white and the blue ribbon I've had for ages. I think they came from Walmart, but then the other two ribbons are Dollar Tree, the kind of lace and the red and white buffalo check. That was from Valentine's Day. You could use whatever you have on hand. You could also finish it with just some jute twine, but I liked the extra color that it gave it. So here's the one that I showed you how to make. I did just the red, white, and blue with the natural. I also made another one with some of the smaller beads that was a little bit longer. This one is so fun. It is a personalized kind of sheet music candle, and I chose for this theme to do America the Beautiful. So I started with just a super small candle. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. This is just one that was at my house, but they do have packs of smaller candles. It doesn't matter the size. You just have to make sure that your picture matches. So then take a piece of tissue paper and tape it onto some printer paper. You want it to be just a little bit smaller than the actual sheet of paper so it will feed through your printer. I don't have anything fancy. It is just a inkjet printer, but I went through, resized it to my candle and cut it out. And then I wrapped it around, made sure it was gonna fit. Then I just grabbed some parchment paper and a heat source for mine. I have an embellishment gun, but I've seen people use a hairdryer. You just wanna make sure that whatever you're using gets hot enough to melt the tissue paper and the wax together. So then I went through, added the heat, and make sure you keep your hand back. You can also put a oven hot mitt on if it gets too hot. But then I worked section by section, and you'll be able to tell when it's melting because you'll be able to see that color through the parchment paper a lot better. I thought this would look super cute if you stacked some of these clothespin stars, put the candle on top, and then added the beads. That would be a really cute kind of centerpiece thing if you're having a party. You could put these on tables in your garage, or you could also just put them on a side table. And then finally, this is more of a hack rather than a DIY, but I just took some toothpicks and shoved them through the foam scatter of stars that the Dollar Tree sells. And these are awesome to add some color anywhere. I like to put them in my Ray Dunn mugs. You could really put them anywhere and it really just adds to the overall look. Holy cow, that was a lot of DIYs, but they are so quick and easy to put together. Also, like I mentioned, I love that they go together. You could really mix and match throughout your house and interchange some of the signs or the stars or really whatever you're looking for. It makes it really easy to put three, four, five items together and give yourself a really cute little patriotic area. And also you can't go wrong with the affordable items and supplies from Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you love patriotic decor as much as I do. Also, be sure to share your pictures if you create anything from this video. I love to see what you guys make. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video, and I will link my full patriotic playlist here for you in case you want to go check out some more DIYs and get inspired for the patriotic decor season. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!